this one's particularly vile. Yay. <laughs> Shadiversity is here, and he is without Fluffy? Welcome back. Welcome back. He's without Fluffy. We only have skim milk. Fascinating. Political disruption in the Shadiversity media empire? Maybe. Maybe he's just off. Maybe he's just on vacation, dude. Back to the watch. And, Nathan, why do so many people in the modern day hate humanity? Because they're depressed. They're de they hate humanity. What? Uh, what's hating humanity? Depressed. They're I, sad. I... They're mentally not all... They're, they're sad, depressed. They're sad, depressed, not not all there. Aren't you guys Mormons? That could be one of the reasons. I, I think I'll, uh, one of the big reasons is uh, performative virtue signaling. You know, mm. if I debase myself publicly, you will see how virtuous I am because I acknowledge how problematic my existence is. Just can we break that down and pause and like think about how awful that is? What? How awful what is? Don't you have a religion that says you're inherently sinful, man? <laughs> uh, I don't know the Mormons roll a little bit different, but not that different. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Shad's building any castles or not. Um, what's the perform? I don't know what the performance is. Maybe it's not talking about me. Maybe he's not talking about me at all. That people are thinking that they are bad for merely Go. existing. Mm. Yeah, I don't think most people think that they're bad for existing. Mormons believe in thought crime, right? And there are ideological movements that literally go that far, that hu the human race is problematic. Uh-huh. So the human race, just as a whole, has problems? Sure. Uh... I mean, I don't think there's not many, there's not many people out there that are like, you know, we just this this human race thing is just a blight. Um, I mean, it can be. You know, we can be pretty pretty bad. Antinatalists, I don't know. He's talking about like self-haters. He's like, "Ah, oh, I have white privilege." And he thinks acknowledging the fact that I, you know, I'm a white guy and therefore I'm going to be subjected usually to less uh racial scrutiny in our society due to, uh, you know, white power structures and stuff like that. Uh, saying that means that I hate myself and humanity or something, right? It's very hard to... Uh, we, can't, we can't acknowledge anything. That just means we're very bad. Um, it, it screams of insecurity. Like, to, to, to self-reflect in any sort of constructive way is uh, bad, actually. Too many humans. We need to reduce the number of humans. We're ruining the climate. We're killing animals. We're destroying the forests. So it makes me laugh because, you know, mm -hmm. we can't fix homelessness, but I can pay for my carbon emissions to be leveled out, you know? <laughs> and I... We can... We can, fi we can fix homelessness. You guys are capitalists, though. So every, t every solution to homelessness is communist or something, right? And then when it's like, well, we could just, like, house them, then you're like, well, who's going to pay for it? You're like, well, no one has to pay for it. We have houses. We don't do nothing. We can just put people in houses. And, like, Help people live dignified lifestyles. That's it. You're know, like, well, who's gonna pay for it? It's like, what? we, we're make, we're we can just make houses. We have houses. You can pay labor, uh, but like, you know, the government invents money, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, the government literally invents it. They just have to pay for labor and shit. Like, we have the resources anyway. It's so super dumb. What you need to make a house is the stuff that you make a house with. Money is is another medium through which we organize things. Like we, they can never they can never fucking d get rid of the two. Right? because uh, pay us money and we'll fix the planet, which you know yeah, technically yeah. we have the technology I, like, to I do think, yet. I think trying to deal with homelessness is a much more virtuous goal than uh, mm -hmm. climate change. I mean, even then, it's like, oh, okay. I'll... Okay, if you care about homelessness, you should probably care about climate change, considering what the main driver of homelessness in the future is going to be. Recycle, or I will, you know, turn the lights off, but I'm not going to pay you a hundred bucks when I buy a plane ticket, because mm -hmm. Taylor Swift doesn't do it, so why should I? Yeah, right, right, and also... Uh, okay, so the little, like, pay us a hundred dollars at the airport, or so we have more, I don't know... 
green energy or I don't know. Yeah, that's a ripoff. Uh, it's it's that's the a problem with corporations, man. Like, how can you not identify that as a problem with corporations and not just like the left at large? Like, lefties don't like that stuff, you know. Like, what are the wokies doing uh, on that front? The left calls for like governments to take care of this, and corporations call for individuals to take care of this. And you're you're mad at one of them. In terms of climate change, like, wouldn't it be better just to like have the Let's not pollute hmm. it is a much better thing that would actually have a follow on effect, positive effect on climate. Uh, if we mm-hmm. just focus on not polluting, but no, it's all the whole. If we just focus on not polluting, that's it. Just individuals not polluting, man, baby brains, little tiny baby brains. So individuals are not the cause of global warming. It's corporations like individuals don't pollute in the way that is necessary to cause the emissions that are fucking up the world. Just don't litter. We're animals, man. The earth can can deal with having animals. What it can't deal with is the artificial like pollution that we fucking pump into the ozone layer and shit, man. That hyperbole, they're just children. <laughs> yeah. I will climate change thing and then people, humans bad, and also humans, we, we go and we... Uh, we destroy the environment and make communities and build buildings and things like that. And, and there's there's a lot of the world that we haven't touched and we're preserving for you know good reasons, right? I mean, it's like, sh- am I a radical for thinking that yes, the Earth is probably. meant to benefit mankind? Yes, that is definitely what the Earth is not meant to benefit mankind. The Earth. It's, it, it, the Earth is a planet where mankind lives and has co-evolved with other life forms on. Like, uh, <laughs> not the same. Yeah, the Earth suffers us. That's a great way to put it. We have the Earth and we can use it for our benefit and success. If you ask some people, they will say yes. That's that, pretty radical. I know, like, and, and It's weird that you don't think that's radical, but I mean, it's because you're a fucking Mormon, dude. The Earth is for us. No, man. We're of the Earth. Very different. It's called Mother Earth. I mean, we literally came from it and the universe at large. Another radical thing. I think animals are on Earth for the betterment of mankind. Radical thing. That's a bit traditional there, Shad. You know, I don't know if you're... Shocking. Shocking. Traditional? No, just religious and fucking weird. This is like Genesis stuff. I don't know. I don't know what the uh, the Mormons have Genesis. How much of the OG Bible do they do they get rid of? Classic Christian Dominionism. Yeah, in this case, Mormon Dominionism. But yeah, do they do do Mormons consider themselves Christian? Like, I actually don't know. Shocking. The reason why they 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 would say Mormons are a subset of Christianity, better Christians. Well, yeah, I mean, so do you know, <laughs> all all the kinds of Christians think they're the better Christians. <laughs> uh, but Mormons, we we never call them Christians. We always call them Mormons. Why this comes up is because um, there's been a, a reemergence of the discussion around the politics and philosophy of Starship Troopers. And I've seen it pop up on Twitter, um, uh, uh, you know, for the past week or so. Mm-hmm. And some of the- he blocked me on Twitter, by the way, for reposting an image of him smiling and laughing at a racist meme. Do you guys want to see that? Shad smiling and laughing at a racist meme. Since he blocked me, of course. Since he won't, he doesn't want to like look at it. Okay, so here's here's Shad. There he is from a video a little bit ago. So this is an AI swap. On the left is the original stuff. On the right is the AI editions. So as you can see, uh, there is a black gentleman here, uh, a mixed baby here. She's alone. Uh, and here the AI switched it to a white guy. White guy is just in there even though she was alone in this one. And then now there's a white guy here and the baby is no longer mixed. Um, has like blue eyes and shit. Uh, and he's laughing at it. And he, he kept it up on his stream for several days. Um, or several days. Several seconds. Uh, while he was laughing and joking at it. Uh, bad look, Shad. Anyway, he blocked me for sharing that. Just thought you should know. Just thought you might want to know that. 
arguments are just baffling, like truly shocking, where people are unironically siding with a genocidal alien race that is hell-bent on the destruction of mankind. Who's the genocidal race in Starship Troopers? The movie goes out of its way to to tell you that it was Earth. Earth is attacking the bugs. The bugs are responding to the attack. They shot. They shot fucking poop l- plasma bombs across the universe. It's uh, silly, but it's whatever. <laughs> Who's the aggressor, right? The the humans are genocidal to the bugs. He's never seen the movie. I don't know what his deal is. Yeah, that's super dumb. They are siding with them. Who's them? The is bugs. It a joke though. Are they joking? I'm ironically that? Nathan. And ironically, they because the aliens. humans bad. They try and say it was humans that it, it was encroaching on their territory, colonizing them, right? That's, yeah, man, holy shit. So the movie Starship Troopers, yeah, that's the movie. It's about imperialism. And it's a, it's, it's a, it's mocking the authoritarian, like, oh, you gotta be in the, to be a citizen, you gotta be in the, in the war. Like, yeah, man, this is the correct read of Starship Troopers. <laughs> Every time these guys get it wrong, it's crazy how consistently they get this shit wrong. And they are just having a valid response so- against the human aggressors. Okay, so this is so MPH dressed like a literal Nazi at the end. Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you rooting for like Rico and the. I don't know what the fuck the. Starship Troopers, people, the rowdy dogs. I don't know what they're fucking called. The Roughnecks. It's, actually, it might be Roughnecks. I think it's Roughnecks. Uh, uh, you 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 root for them because like they're just they're just meat in the meat machine. You know what I mean? They're not directly responsible for the bug shit. They're taking orders and believing the propaganda of their country and world, and and they're you know they're just trying to survive, man. So you can identify with the main characters. It's okay, it's okay, Shaddy. But like, the government is what is wrong with that. Like, they're sending them to a bug planet to literally die, and they find out multiple times throughout the film that like, the government is not does not give a fuck with if we live or die. <laughs> uh, they take and colonize the the bug planets because they're they're valuable. Yeah, man. That was their take. Which is, by the way, that's not even true in the narrative of the movie or, or the books. It and, is, you know, actually. Funny, like, throughout this week, Mormons were trending. And the reason being is it's associated with the Starship Troopers thing. Because they blame Mormons for kicking off. It wasn't a... Look, we were just fight, trying to find no. a peaceful planet to colonize. It's what we've done from the beginning. You can't blame us. If you keep kicking us out, we're going to go somewhere else. Exactly. <laughs> They're like worms. They're like little cockroaches. The Federation had transgalactic starships. They could have easily stopped the rock from hitting Buenos Aires. Look, I think I think upon further review, are we even sure that the bugs fucking shot that? Did they did they did they do the rock? Did the can the bugs even do that? Do they have it in them? How did they did it even happen? It's heavily implied to be a false flag. That's what I'm saying. Bug rocks. You serious? Intergalactic bug rocks? I really got to watch the movie. Brooke, frothing at the mouth to tell you to live life right now and watch the shit out of Starship Troopers. My corn is so moist that it's actually Also dripping. a peaceful place to colonize. Nice word, Chad. Chad plays Helldivers 2. This is the the reasonable system. Super Earth. That's a good name for the planet. All right. <laughs> Starship Troopers is good shit. It is a critique on essentially American imperialism. Yeah. The books hey, are more a- explicit. Oh, yeah, he's having a Mormon rant. Our history, Mormons have been oppressed and kicked from state to state, country to country. We're just trying to find a fit peaceful place. Why do you think we settled the Salt Lake Valley? We got kicked out of Missouri from a Mormon extermination order. Why do we... I hope you really have a fantastic day. Well, you got kicked out of a lot of places because you were trying to fuck kids in mass and marry them. Yeah, and then everywhere you went, you tried to be like, yep, we're kings of this place, we're fucking the owners of this, and people who live there were like, nope, Shad is not okay. We settled Missouri, because Carolyn got 
we got a tea kick there. So we finally are in fight. We're going around the planet. And no one's on the planet, right? It's there. And they said, don't blame us. Then the bugs kicked us, kicked, killed us. Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. People yeah. are blaming the Mormons, but it's <laughs> not our fault. This is a bit. He's doing a haha. Yeah, he's a weird guy. No, he was doing a bit. He's not He's not actually melting down. I hope you really have he's, a fantastic He's being day. funny, guys. Please clap. Please clap for chat. Uh, Jahadis, get one to Ira Q. Bella, Dr. Gamble. Another victory for managed democracy. <laughs> managed democracy. It is fictional, but <laughs> they're still blaming us Stop hypothetically. Fiction. Like... It's a very possible thing that could happen. We Mormons, we're good at irrigating. Like, damn good. Yes. But you know what? I reckon, just to get off topic for a little bit, realistically, I think everyone else would leave Earth. We'd stay on Earth and we would fix, fix it. it fix yeah. It. Elon. Um, we'd fix it. Mormons. We can go to Mars. We'll keep Earth. We're good we'll at fixing up. up trash holes. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, it was. Um, uh, we're good at fixing up trash holes. So what Mormons do is they are kicked to the margins of society because no one wants to be the fuck around their weird asses. And so they are forced to, like, terraform swaths of jungle. Or, like, literally, there are, there are Mormon missionaries and families who have trekked down to Central and South America to get away from, like, the oppressive uh, opinions of people who disagree with Mormons. Uh, Quebec, I give one to Keith. Keith. Let's go. Yeah, they're, they're fucked up. All right, everyone, act normal like nothing happened at all. I don't remember what he was talking about. We'll keep Earth. We're good we'll at fixing up. up trash holes. Yeah. Uh, like. Speaking of trash holes, chat, would you like to join the official Discord? Look at that. A plug for the Discord in the YouTube video? Wow. Which would be hard to get an invite to, I suppose. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, join the, you gotta join the Twitch to join the Discord because it's in the chat right now. You'll actually be able to see it in a second. Look, I'll, I'll kick, I'll kick it up a notch. Uh, no you won't. Never mind. You can't see it on the YouTube version. You can only see it in the real chat. Never mind. Nightbot put a link. It doesn't matter. Uh, join the official Discord if you're not a member of the Discord, okay? Because then you can fill our trash holes. That's what we call the place where you put videos that I watch is the trash hole. This is trash. Uh, it was um, uh, it was Kirtland. That was a swamp, right? Kirtland Temple, because that's where we built it. Yes. Or was it Missouri? Um, no, it wasn't Missouri. Nauvoo. Nauvoo. Nauvoo, Nauvoo was like, the swamp. I was like, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't Kirtland. It was Nauvoo. But Nauvoo, another one we literally got attacked and, and you know, kicked out at gunpoint, right? And the Nauvoo Temple burnt to the ground. But Nauvoo was literally a swamp that no one wanted. Uh -huh. We came in and we actually figured out a way to drain. We... In the swamp and irrigated, and then we built Nauvoo, and Nauvoo. We, you didn't. But I like was gay or something. <laughs> Any of that. <laughs> Skim milk confirmed Mormon with his, this chat. Mm -mm. It was ending up like, and then because the Mormon um, um, converts, uh, cool. immigrants were coming in. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Why not? Why not look this up if you're going to talk about it? Why not have an idea what's going on? You know. That the Navajo population was starting to skyrocket, and the reason why uh, Missouri started to really dislike the Mormons is that the population was getting so high that more, the more, like Latter Day Saints were starting to get voting um, Powers, power yeah. because of our numbers. And so, based on a false claim that it has actually been admitted that this was completely trumped up, mm -hmm. that the, yeah Missouri signed the Mormon extermination order and driven from the state by violence. And then so th and then we went to Salt Lake. And we set all that hellhole as well. <laughs> We're good at it. It was a desert. It was, like, and, they, and they kind of helped with Las Vegas as well. Not the gambling part, but, you know, the settling of... Exactly. Like, it was actually Mormon pioneers that wow. trailblazed the uh, you know, way to travel from Central America to, you know... Um, <coughs> where was it again? Las Vegas? Las Vegas, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. It was us that did that, that broke down the stone and mountains. Mormon and trails. Like, you know? We were central to white colonization. What an own. We didn't do it, but 
we're, we're claiming <laughs> we probably would we're, we're, we're claiming <coughs> we probably would what's the right reason no. it's like the opposite of a crusade you know yeah, yeah. it's like go to this land where there's nothing there and make something exactly and we'll go okay what's the problem with that go to a place where nothing is there oh but that was the bugs territory they weren't even on the planet we didn't kill anyone but the bugs killed us, and then they are like, humans bad, and then they started uh, ge- trying to genocide the human race. Cool. Wow, that's just not... It's crazy that he falls for the fake propaganda in the book and movie about propaganda. when And, and they're telling you it's fake and bad the whole time. And, I mean, Joseph Smith was tarred and feathered because he wouldn't stop hitting on 12-year-olds, but it was a fear of their political power that kept driving them away, right? <clears throat> Joseph Smith's wife uh, got pretty upset about this too, and um, there's a whole that, there's lots of drama in the Mormon Church because of the pedophiles. So people are now siding with the bugs. People are actually siding with the bugs because they claim that mm-hmm. it was unjust ex- human expansion. This Mormon colony. Okay, actually, it was though. No one was there. I love the fact that people are getting mad at this fictional story that never happened. Or- You're getting mad at the fictional story that never happened. The reason they're mad at you is because you are you're telling people, here's what the movie was about, and you're wrong, and people are like, no, that's not what the movie's about. The movie is telling you that this is what it's about, and you're just incapable of fucking seeing it. Like, the creator of Starship Troopers could tell you what it's about, and you would fucking, you would disagree. Or occurred, I know, it's hilarious, and they're getting right? so dug in. With but that's the fact why it's that, like it's they're, they're getting dug in. That's showing they hate humanity. They're, like this is an un like th- unrepentant, hell bent on genocide, alien race that <clears> is <throat> only to kill all humans, right? And it was unprovoked, like territory. They weren't even on the planet, right? And then after that, they start bombing the like, sending. I don't know how it travels so far across space, but anyway, they start bombing. You know, I don't know how it travels so far across space. Interesting. Interesting. How far... How did it travel that far? A great skeptical question to ask. Earth with their, their space excretions or something like that. Um, okay, and and so Starship Troopers is a, a fun film, right? Um, content warning, there's nudity in it. But it has this fun kind of campy aspect about I'm doing my part and killing the bugs and all that stuff. And so the, the people who are trying to, to defend the bugs are saying, look at how evil humans are killing these intelligent alien race. And so there's this one scene. Well, so I have a joke. I used to say your part first. Uh, well, there's this one scene where the um, scientists have a captured bug and is like, we're testing guns or something like that and it's shooting him. And, and, and the takeaway is like, look at how awful the, these fascists are torturing an intelligent alien, you know, entity <coughs> um, mm-hmm. right in front of you. And, and they, they're, it seems like they're enjoying it kind of thing. Yeah. And it's like, what are you th- this bug that they're torturing is actually a brainless drone that's made to be a weapon like- oh my fucking god he actually doesn't see any fucking have you seen starship troopers it's like so, so obviously a parody of the shitty things that human beings do specifically like the war machine of america and other western type entities like it <laughs> Like they literally like probe the thing. It's 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 making fun of propaganda. I cannot fucking believe this man. He's so stupid. Why is Shadowversity so stupid? Like their species is a, the pug a is Hamas. species with a, a brain that's controlling them. Mm-hmm. There's a brain bug that's controlling them, right? <laughs> And all these mm-hmm. other things are drones, but they're trying to conflict. No, these are intelligent, valid species that they're only retaliating because they were, you know, uh, like, like encroached upon first. And there's valid retaliation to wipe out humanity. So, question for you, Shad. Yes. Killing bugs is wrong, cool. correct? In, in terms of, of their definition. Okay. Uh, the Starship Troopers thing? So, it's just about colonization. If the, you know, if the bug planet did attack, you can do kill some bugs sure uh the writer of starship troopers just wanted a military-led fascist state service guarantees citizenship and all that right <clears throat> according to them in this instance it seems like it yeah. yeah okay how many of them do you think are vegan i wonder how many- because how many of them you know how many of drink soy bug? soy lattes and eat vegetables Probably and a lot. realize that all their crops you know the farmers kill all the bugs oh, and oh it- mass on scale you're right all the vegans are supporting mass bug genocide uh, 
So, you know, actually, there's some, a lot of vegans that, that don't buy food with pesticides on them and shit. Um, the thing that you were holding on, the joke you were holding on to was the soy stuff? <laughs> wow. S- skim milk is uh, a comedic genius. Shadiversity is tickled to death by them, though. <clears throat> All these books in the background, and Shad still has no media literacy. Well, they're all his own book. Heinlein didn't even notice the fascist tones he wrote in there because he's a fascist. But Paul Verhoeven, seeing all that, I've only, I've never read the book. I've only uh, watched the movies. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> I get it. Paul Verhoeven based? Question mark. It is. They are supporting it up all. And that's real. It is. That's not fictional. That's yeah. a real thing that's happening. So, you know, I want to ask them, you know, do, do you know that? Are you okay with, you know, eating your vegetables? <laughs> yeah, all, uh, your vegetables are built on the grave of millions of, you know, bugs that are just wiped out wholesale. And we shouldn't eat Yeah, uh, so, I, I don't know, vegans kill bugs, it's whatever. Uh, it's about just limiting your harm to stuff. I don't know why. What, you're opposed to veganism? I don't understand that. I, I'm fine with not being a vegan. I'm not a vegan. But I don't understand being opposed to veganism. <laughs> Eat bugs either, then. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that. They don't know what organic is? I guess not, yeah. I have a weird take on the bugs thing. Okay. If they taste good, I'm all... Look, look, prawns and, and crabs yes. were once considered bugs and beneath it. And like, if it tastes... Look, if they're trying to force me as a, like a protein replacement that tastes like crap and want me to give up my steak... No, piss off. I'm not giving up my steak for that. But if you give you like a cockroach, uh, uh, tent, I don't know, something yummy. If it's tasty. Like a patty. Simple full of... snack. Just... I'd eat it. Okay. Yeah. That's not a hot take. I actually think that's a fine take. The problem with the bugs thing is that the corporations uh, want to give you bugs instead of providing people with like, you know, food and nutrition and like quality lifestyle. They just want to give you bug sludge. I'm fine holistically with eating bugs. I think it's a very Western sort of white hegemony thing to not want to eat the bugs. Uh, I'm part of it. I don't, I'm not like a super bug enjoyer, but I wasn't, you know, you have now you have to acquire the taste. If it was always in our uh, situation, though, like most animals and stuff are edible. Most species on Earth are edible to us of, of plants and animals and bugs. Most well, they're animals, but. Bugs are the future of food if we don't solve climate change. Bugs should be the future of food anyway, to be honest. Um, not just for us, but I think like, I think like in general, like it's a cl- it's a clean source of of food. It's not bad, and a, a lot of them probably taste just fine. Um, but it's our just our sensibilities that are bad about it. My problem again is you know, it's it's the it's the. <laughs> corporate yeah let's feed the fucking peasants bugs uh no i reject that i'm fine i'm fine if part of like how we address hunger and stuff uh and just like you know um sustainable living uh whether whether it's for human uh, consumption or otherwise uh bugs seem to make i mean they're part of the ecosystem and we used to eat them currently apes eat bugs all the fucking time we're just you know Hoity-toity. In some cultures, you eat bugs regularly. Uh, depends on uh, where they are around the world. Um, and that said, I mean, you know, bacteria and goo and all that stuff, fermentation, all fungus, we eat all this other shit. So, I mean, like, you know. Anyway, that that's it. Ants taste really citrusy. Some of them do. So, ants and crickets and stuff. The thing is, like, to get them into an appealing form factor that doesn't, you know, Sheer numbers, Earth belongs to the bugs. We just inhabit their soil. Yeah, but they're weak. Hordes. And we are the kaijus. The ki- We're the kaijus, okay? Maybe I would, because I do like prawns. I do like crabs. But seafood, I feel like, is a... Yeah. A what is wrong with taste- salami? Hey, look here. Some dumb apes on a backwater planet that thinks they are the center of the universe. We should kill them and take their planet. Easy pickings. What do you mean, what's wrong? That's the key. That's the, that's the thing. Like, if a food is tastes good and nutritious, right? With salami. Like... I don't really care where it comes from, man. You know, if it's okay. a bug, if it's a seafood, if it's a cow, it's, like, it's, it's good. But the problem with, is that I think a lot of this is they're trying to push stuff that tastes like crap. It's like, oh, eating beef is bad. You should shame on you. And and also eating sp- beef is bad, but it's like it's like only it's dependent on how we source it, right? I think 
<clears throat> I'm not a vegan because I I mean I we are animals on this planet and there is a I think there is a reasonable amount of omnivorousness uh, that makes sense for humanity. What we 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 don't do that though. We just overconsume, and that's our tendency. Uh, however, there is a there is a movement towards mindfulness, which I prefer. Um, where it's like if we do eat an animal, uh, I would prefer to get it locally sourced. I go to my local butcher for this reason. Uh, I would you know I prefer to get um, you know it fresh and not from some fucking corporation. Uh, and uh, you know I'm gonna treat it right. We're not gonna try to waste a bunch of it. <laughs> It's just, it's just like if I eat meat, it's a mindful decision, right? I'm not trying to waste a bunch of meat all the time. I never waste meat. I waste veggies on accident. I hate it, but I don't waste meat, man. I try really hard not to. And not just because it's an animal, just because it's, you know, expensive too. Sustainability something. They're, they're farting too much and causing too much CO2 in the air. Sustainability something. They're farting too much. Okay, so yes, factory farms are really bad, and we don't need to prioritize beef the way it is. If, like... If we just ate less beef and still, you could still have a burger every now and then. You could have it once a week, more than once a week. I mean, I, I'm not trying to limit anyone specifically. Uh, I don't think we should, you know, unless it became a huge problem. Uh, but I feel like the earth is going to shut you down well before we fucking legislate steak out. You know what I mean? I, think, I feel like they're just going to be like, well, all the fucking cows died. Now what? I eat beef maybe once a month. I don't eat beef that often. I guess I, no, this is pork. It's funny this the cooking channel I did beef almost exclusively to begin. Some of these are reuploads. It's like beef and just vegetables, right? Beef, 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 beef. This is pork. Vegetables. Vegetables. Here's some fish, beef, vegetables. <laughs> We're gonna get more of that. Crickets, root mealworms and roaches. The smell sorta of sticks with you. I'm not sure I could eat any of it. Did cover if it didn't cover the bug smell. Hmm. Well, that's them living, though. Rad roach farms are the future? Fuck yeah, dude. What's she doing? So eat the bugs. Like, no. In that instance, no, you can jump. Not, 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 a, not a hope. Yeah, so, unironically, and it seems to be like this face-off moment where they're actually siding with bugs. Which uh, and, and th That clip where it's the scientists killing this drone, I, I, which is bred to be your weapon, that they were like, look at it, torture this, it's, uh, you know, intelligent species. It's just like... Oh well, my god! I also find it funny because of the rise of Helldivers too. Everyone's just getting in on killing the bugs. So kill, like, kill the bugs. So you know what? People can complain and cry about it, but people love simulating, yeah. you know, Starship Troopers. Mm -hmm. So, and, and uh, man, uh, you can love Starship Troopers and you can love killing bugs in a video game, and you can be like, "Yep, isn't this game that's explicitly making fun of the idea in general fun? It's fun. It's meant to be fun." I. <laughs> Killing bugs and hordes can be fun. It looks cool. I might play it. If it gets a good update, I might play some Helldivers on stream or something with the boys. Funny, because, like, these people are trying to say the retaliation with violence on a species that is encroaching on your territory is valid. That's what they're, they're essentially saying. Side of the bugs, that's what they're saying. It's like, do you know how many freaking rodents and bugs encroach on my territory? So, oh, pfft, I, 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 yeah, I, like, because this is the thing. Humans didn't actually encroach on their territory, not even knowingly, and no one was on the planet. The Mormons, are, they're, they're innocent, okay? Um... But, of course, going into, uh, like, a species territory, if it's intelligent, right, and then wiping it out and taking over everything, there's moral problems with that. We, I think we could all agree on. But if it's a less... The brain... The bugs are proven to be intelligent. That's what the movie's about. Spoilers for Starship Troopers. The There's brain bugs. There's bugs with intelligence and psychic stuff. Uh, they just are bugs. <laughs> So they're not apes, they're bugs, and they're intelligent. It's intelligent, you know. Species. I mean, even then, you don't want to, you know, upset the balance of yeah, nature. Yeah, 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 you, and you don't want to, like, like, genocide, you know, or make extinct um, beings. But but still, if you find a planet that is inhabited by lesser intelligent animals, stuff like that, of course you can colonize it. Like, you can build a cabin, yeah. you can build a city. Yes, exactly. And you can't. The bugs eat your face, actually. Yeah, go ahead, try. That's what the movie's about. What, man? <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean? You do they're not letting you. And now you're trying to say that they're waging war against you when you're colonizing them. They're not letting you. They're intelligent. It's pretty obvious they're intelligent. But then, if the, if these bugs try to encroach on my territory, I will, I will genocide yeah. them. Yeah. 
So he misinterprets the brain bugs as like a collective consciousness that's individually ruling each of the dr- he called them drone bugs. Nah, man, they just use their psychic powers to tell bugs where to go. Kill the bugs. What do you guys think? Stay on watch. Huh. Okay. Um. I mean, he's just genuinely so fucking dumb. <laughs> Why can't we be surrounded by more intelligent individuals? I feel like my job has essentially become like we we very rarely have a rigorous test of our of our like convictions or uh even just our our brains. Uh usually it's just like, wow, this guy's really fucking stupid, isn't he? So here's another episode of Isn't That Guy Fucking Dumb? <laughs> I I w- wish we had uh, better things. Uh, I wish we had better men to cover, but they're just all shit. It it turns out it it's most of the normal people are fine. The shitters, the people we don't like, the people that ruin ruin things, they're actually all fucking dumb. That's the problem. They're dumb. Very few of them are actually truly nefarious. Those usually are the people in charge. Oh my God. But most of them are just fucking stupid. He just said he would do genocide on a sapient species. Well, what do you expect from a rape writer? Well, what do you expect from a rape writer? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Shingo possibilities? Fuck. Oh, no Shingo, please.